What's going on, people? WrestleMania just happened. It was nice. Representing for Undertaker, Big Evil. I don't have a Triple H shirt. You know what I mean? Poor man. Retired. Shout outs to him. Um, so, <laughs> I made the video about Will and Jada. Divide us again. Same title. But I, I fumbled a little bit. And uh, I don't know if any of you noticed. It was a part of that video that I wanted to edit out. Cut out, whatever. And uh, I tried to get the video back. Because I had deleted it after I uploaded it. And the quality was just shit. So I just deleted the whole fucking thing. Um, I must say. Will and Jada have divided us again. And I don't think it's their fault. Well, other conspiracy theorists will tell you that it's their fault. But, you know, it's all a game anyway. Who gives a shit? But they divide us again. Uh, the reason why I say that was because when that whole entanglement thing happened, there was people really, like, legit arguing and, like, cussing each other out on fucking social media over Will and Jada and... The whole August and this and this entanglement, this and this, the open, open relationship, open marriage. Uh, Will cheated too, and then other people saying Will didn't cheat; he just allowed her to cheat. What the fuck, man? I mean, damn. Uh, and then here we go again with Will, Jada, but now including Chris Rock. People are divided again. People are arguing on if it was right or not. And I'm going to try to break it down, you know, try to do it the best I can. Um, you know, for those of you who are on this defensive thing, that's what a man needs to defend his woman. Of course. I mean, who the fuck isn't going to agree that a man should defend his woman? You know, I see like a lot of these bitter women talking about, oh, a lot of you men are just, you're bitter against us and you 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 don't defend us. What? What? This is this is what I say again. People don't communicate the right way. And you know, like, like this is what's causing this these arguments and this all of these fucking dividing just every everybody just oh my god, I can't even fucking think. Like just thinking about it is just it just makes me like ah I, I stutter, I don't know what to say. Cause it's just so dumb, like you're, can you communicate the right way? Can you just talk to each other? Is it that fucking hard? Like, and a man is supposed to defend his woman. And a woman's supposed to defend his man. Her, her, oh, shit. Sorry. Pronouns. Mixed up. You're supposed to defend each other. Verbally, and if it leads to physical, physically. If you have to do it. If, if it's to that point. Now, that wasn't needed, though. Okay? Now, I'm going to say this. You know, I see people saying it was a bad joke. He should not have said it. He should not have said it. And uh, it's offensive. And, you know, women who, who are bald or, you know, women's hair is something that's sensitive topic. Oh my god, dude. Like, let's be fucking honest, man. He's a fucking comedian, bro. Like, this is the reason why a lot of you, especially you fucking new age people, these fuck, all oh, you cancel culture, everything, you take everything, to f uh, you're offended by everything. You, you don't watch comedy. You shouldn't, it, like, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, you should just be, some of you are just miserable. And, and, and it just, you should just remain that. And, and 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 if there's if there's something that has comedy included, you should not watch it. Like just stay away from it because we don't need you to speak. Just go fuck yourself because there's too many of you out here on the internet. Okay. First of all, Chris Rock and Will Smith knew each other for how long? They've worked together before. And, and people are showing some clips of Chris Rock when he was like, Jada is uh, boycotting the Oscars. Oh, y'all wasn't invited anyway. And then I see some people, oh, um, 
because of that, he was poking at them, and, and, and this, is what, this is what caused it. If that was the case, how come Will Smith didn't smack him backstage before the show started? Obviously, they saw each other before the show started, okay? And if that was the case, how come was Will Smith was laughing at the joke that he told Javier Bardem? I think I think it is. Oh, he wants Will Smith to win this award. How if that was the case, Will Smith would not have been laughing. If if it was because Chris Rock was poking fun at them since uh Jada was po uh boycotting the Oscars before and y'all oh y'all ain't invited anyway, he would have smacked them before that. He would not he would not have been laughing at the joke prior to the Jada uh the G.I. Jane joke. So spare me the dumb shit. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. So let's get to this G.I. Jane joke. Jada, I love you. Did he say you look great or whatever? I think he said you look great. G.I. Jane too. Uh-huh. And then she rolls her eyes, of course. Typical narcissist, typical fucking condescending person that she is. Uh, you know, it's, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, y'all watch her at Table Talk, especially when she and who was the other one that stepped in? Well, Snoop Dogg, when you said that about what, what's her name? I felt it. Shut the fuck up that you felt it. That woman disrespected Snoop Dogg and she wants Snoop Dogg to feel bad to, for, for what he said about that Gail, whatever. Yo, uh, these people are fucking sick. I'm sorry. Whether you want to admit it or not, I think Jade is a fucking sick individual. I think she is. Will, I think he is too. And I'm not trying to um, say it in a disrespectful way because I loved what they did. Uh, yo, I, I've watched a lot of their movies growing up as a kid, yo. Oh, for real. Like, I've, I've, the, one of my favorite movies is by Will Smith, The Independence Day, and other shit like that, Prince of Bel Air. You know what I mean? Come on, bro. Like, Will Smith was a part of my childhood. So was Jada. But they're kind of they're kind of weird. All right? He says the G.I. Jane joke. She rolls her eyes. He's still smiling. And he's still smiling walking up to that stage. Smacks him and, and, and smiling walking back. This whole shit is fucking weird. But the, the 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 one thing that 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 bothers me is like people are saying that, most, and it's mostly women too, which is and I'm not trying to, I don't know what like y'all think he's defending. I don't, I don't know what you think he's defending. Like there were she wasn't threatened, she wasn't being she wasn't told that she was a bitch. She wasn't told that she's dumb. She's a horrible person. He didn't make fun of her. He didn't disrespect her, okay, whether whether you want to believe it or not. He didn't he wasn't threatening to harm her physically, whatever. So what was there to defend? I, I don't understand. She has alopecia, okay. You know, if anything, you know, he, after he said that joke. You could have been like, yo, Chris, listen, man. My wife's got alopecia, man. And she kind of felt a way about that. And I mean, it's not funny because it it's sensitive to her. And Chris Rock already said that he didn't know that she had it. Pretty sure he would have apologized in front of everybody knowing Chris Rock. You think Chris Rock isn't a professional? He's a fucking professional. And if anything, he would have apologized backstage. And he probably himself would have went on, on camera or on, on some kind of interview. And be like, yo, listen, man. Uh, you know, I didn't know that she had it. And I would like to apologize to the whole world in front of everybody. I apologize to William Jada backstage, blah, blah, blah. You know, but I see people. Oh, it's a bad joke. Uh, and, oh, and another thing that gets me out of everyone else. Why did he choose her? Since when were, when were people excluded from, from getting roasted? When, is there some kind of like invisible barrier that, that comedians are supposed to know that, oh, do not say anything about me. Uh, I'm sensitive right now. 
Just like how some of you fucking idiots go to comedy shows, and I've seen these these things, videos on YouTube, who they get mad because the comedian, you know, like starts making making fun of their shirt or some shit. Like, let's be fucking honest. What the fuck is wrong with you? I went to a comedy show in Bridgeport, Connecticut, which is do your research on Bridgeport, Connecticut. And the comedian was black, and he looked at a, a, a female in the audience and said her, her hairstyle looked like someone. And it wasn't disrespectful. It, didn't, it wasn't someone ugly or some shit. But it was so funny. She was like, that was great. I love it. I mean, what the fuck? And she was black too. So I, I, I don't understand. And, and then I see people share this the, the thing about you know, the history of this country and how certain hairstyles were um, um, banned from schools and certain jobs. I don't agree with that. And I, I, I think that they finally like lifted them off and in all schools, you don't, they don't care if, what, what hairstyle that you have. I, when I was in school, where I'm at, like I knew kids with dreadlocks and whatever hairstyles they, well, the school's different. I know jobs or whatever. It's not like we're still living in fucking that time. But I think we spread enough awareness about that issue. And if it's still outlaw or or, or abandoned, uh, it's still banned in certain jobs. Well, you need to you need to get rid of it. Maybe some professions where you gotta have short hair. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I, I, that's another topic, but. Chris Rock is a black man, and he didn't say anything. He didn't call her a bald-headed bitch. He didn't say you look like a cancer patient. He didn't say you look sick. Why the fuck? Oh, why the Why is your head bald? Why, why, why would you shave your head, Jada? He didn't say that. That's disrespectful. He's not fucking Bill Maher who said put on a fucking wig. He's not, um, uh, who is it? Tom, Tom Seguru? Tom Segura, who said, well, if you don't, if you don't like it, then put on a wig, bitch. I don't agree with that. You know what I mean? Like, now, because she wasn't, okay, I agree. Okay, maybe because she wasn't lit at a comedy show, but it's just, it's the Oscars, but, I, you know, you don't say put on a wig, bitch. Now, if he would have said that on stage, I would agree that Will Smith, because you don't you don't call somebody you don't call somebody else's wife a bitch, you know what I mean? I'm sorry. And then and then after the whole smack happened, Will is like, "Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth." That's all you got to say. You couldn't say, "Watch how you're talking about my wife's um uh, um hair or some shit." My wife has alopecia. Okay, I apologize. I didn't know that she had alopecia. I'm sorry that I don't watch Red Table Talk. I have not seen one single episode of Red Table Talk. Only seen clips of that Snoop Dogg one. You know, you know what I mean. And then I, I see people. Oh, she's she announced that she had it years ago. Well, I'm sorry. I guess her entanglement with August overpowered that. Maybe. That went more viral than her fucking her alopecia announcement because not once did I see anybody talk about Jada Jada Pinkett's fucking alopecia. Not once. And guess what? Not everybody watches Red Table Talk. I know a lot of people who don't watch it. So this whole situation's dumb. It's another way to just uh, again with Will and Jada, another topic including them having people just go at each other. This is, in in my opinion, I think it's all a game. But also, it, it it is just stupid. It's a stupid situation. Defended her like, what what was there to defend? As if Chris Rock was like, and as if she, she was in danger, bro. Like, let's be honest. Use your fucking common sense. That wasn't no way to defend your wife. You could have handled that backstage and. And went on camera and be like, oh, listen, we got to make this public. And, you know, you're going you're gonna to have to apologize because 
or whatever. Believe what you want to believe, I guess. 